Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to create slideshows with Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now, this only works with the Platinum version Movie Studio, but most of you all have that. Let me show you how this works. First thing you want to do is to put your mouse pointer wherever you want the slideshow to start, and then choose Insert, and from the Insert menu, choose Slideshow. And on the Slideshow menu, click Add Pictures, and go to the folder on your computer where you have the photos you want to include in your slideshow and then select all the photos that you want and choose open. And those photos will show up in the slideshow creator window. Now there are a number of things you can do with these photos. For example, this one right here needs to be rotated and to rotate that photo I just click on it and you can see the rotation tool. I can rotate clockwise like that. Now as I look at the photos I can decide what sequence I want the photos in. For example, if I want the photos to be sorted in alphabetical A to Z, I can click this icon right here. Or if I want them to be sorted Z to A, that's backwards, I can click that icon. This is useful if your camera numbers your photos when they're shot and they have them in a sequence. Now you may want to sort them new to old, or the most obvious is old to new. Now if you've used your camera to shoot photos and you want to show those photos in the sequence they were shot, sorting old to new usually gives you what you want. Or you can choose shuffle. Now in addition to sorting, you can move photos around. For example, if I decide that this photo right here should be somewhere else, I can scroll down my screen and drag the photo to wherever I want it. Now if I look through here and I see photos that shouldn't be here, for example this one looks like a duplicate, I can select that photo and choose the Delete Selected to remove that photo. So these tools allow you to rotate the photos, to sort the photos, to move them around, and to delete them. Once you have the photos in the order you want, click the Settings link and choose whether you want to start at cursor. Usually you do want to start at cursor and then choose the duration. Now with the duration you can set the time per picture. Right now the default is three seconds. Or you can set the total length of your production. For example if I want this production to only last 15 seconds I can enter 15 right there. Now this is useful if you have a music clip and you're trying to match your slideshow duration to the music clip. Now if you're not trying to do that three seconds generally works good. So you can do it either way. Now the next step is to choose effects. Now, effects are the transitions that appear between each photo in your slideshow. The default is random, which means it's going to create a random transition between each slide. Now that can look okay in some projects, but in most cases you can have a more professional look if you choose the same effect between all your slides. And the one that I really like are the fades with pan and zoom. So we're going to choose that. And you can also choose the overlap, and that's the amount of time between each slide and the default is one second and in most cases that's a good setting. Now that you have all these things you click create and Sony Movie Studio creates the slideshow for you. Now I generally want to put a slight fade on the beginning of my slideshow and then to play it I put my mouse at the beginning of the slideshow and click play. And you can see it fades in the slide, does a transition and zoom between each slide and it does a pretty nice presentation. If you create the slideshow and you don't like what you have there are a couple of things you can do. You can select the whole slideshow on the timeline and press delete to delete it. If you want to remove the images from the media pool, you can use this lightning bolt right there which removes all unused media from the project. So you just click that and all the media is gone. And then if you want to add another slideshow or redo the slideshow, you do what we did before. We choose insert, slideshow, and then choose the photos. If you've got photos there from a previous project, you can highlight them all and choose the delete button to delete them and then click add pictures to add new photos in. So it's pretty easy to do. This is not the only way to add a slideshow to Sony Vegas Movie Studio, but it is the easiest. Anyway, I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at my website www.bmyers.com and you can find even more Sony Vegas Movie Studio tips in my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which is available at Amazon as well as my website.